Our country was in the middle of the Great Depression, <clears throat> which all of the older people in our country can remember very well. Everybody was extremely poor. There were few jobs to be had. My father worked in a meat packing plant. My mother did not have a job. Very, very few women worked outside of the home. There just weren't jobs to be had. My mother was very industrious. She mostly cleaned the whole house herself and took care of the washing and ironing. My sister and I would do the dishes after dinner. Mostly my mother sent her children to the store to get groceries. She gave us a list. We did not have supermarkets. You went to a counter and told the grocer what you wanted and he got it off of the shelves. The butcher got the meat out of the case. Often people could not afford to feed their families. Since everybody was so poor, we did not go out and buy all these clothes. We had a very, very limited wardrobe. In fact, most of the clothes that I wore were handed down to me from my cousin, who was a couple years older than I was. We did not have a refrigerator. We had an ice box. There was an ice man that came around every few days. You would put a sign in the window how much ice you needed. He would bring it and put it in the ice box. And we did not have money always to uh, go out to movies, go to restaurants, and regardless of how far your school was, you walked. When I was in grade school, it wasn't quite as far, maybe uh, seven or eight blocks. In high school, it was a mile. The class sizes, I think, would be around 35, 40 students. Teachers taught English, arithmetic, penmanship, spelling, history, geography, civics. I guess I have them all. In the evenings, the neighborhood children would go out and play on the street, different uh, games that uh, you children play even today. We loved walking through the woods, investigating, climbing, and we did jump rope. At nine o'clock when the lights came on, everybody went home. Ordinarily, we would spend a holiday with one or another of my aunts and uncles. I had lots of aunts and uncles. My mother came from a family of 10 and my father came from a family of seven. We did get gifts for Christmas. They had to be something simple and inexpensive. At one point, the Salvation Army brought gifts for people who were poor and had children. When I was in high school, uh, Pearl Harbor happened. The Japanese came and bombed the United States at Pearl Harbor and we went into World War II. Just about every eligible male was off to fight for our country.